I should have seen this coming, but I guess I was preoccupied and looking at other things. In the last few days, I've heard several people, some of whom are pretty close to me, refer to some version of some story about why God has sent the coronavirus. And the stories vary, as of course they do, but I find that one thing that, that's interesting is it seems like we have a tendency to find God's message in these horrific events, but that God's message is, is almost always for someone else in these events. It's like God's trying to get somebody else's attention for their evil or what they're doing wrong. And I think if we're doing that, we're not reading the Bible very faithfully as God's people. I think the faithful way to read the Bible as God's people and to interpret the world around us as God's people is to look for what God's message to us is in the events, whether life is good and easy or difficult and challenging. So I invite you, if you're wondering at all where God is in the midst of all of this coronavirus and COVID-19 and sheltering in place and social distancing, invite God to show you what God's message for you is in this, how you can live better as one of God's people in these times, how you can love God and love your neighbor as yourself, and what our current circumstances mean for you to love God and to love others, and leave the judgment to God. One more thing before you go. Remember, this Sunday we'll be live streaming on Facebook Live, and it's a communion Sunday, so have your elements ready when you're there with us. Bring some bread and some grape juice or whatever elements you have, because the important part of communion is that we share this together and remember Jesus promises to us exactly what substances we use, I'm convinced, is not the main point of that story. See you Sunday morning.